let's take a moment just to review this entire process. You're going to be studying law school and the fundamental method is the case method. You will have case books, they will have appeals courts opinions in those case books, and you will be studying those case books. And we have in our uh, program uh, a, 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 a series of uh, cases that you'll be going through to, to practice the case method. But you will be studying primarily the case method. That's your, your fundamental task in law school. Every night you'll be reading a series of cases and those cases are based on legal principles. And your job is to read those cases, analyze those cases, and to learn the legal principles. Class participation. After you've gone through the process of each night studying, reading these cases, you go to class the next day and you'll be participating in class. And understand, day one of class, you had better have read the material the night before. Law school starts on day one. There's no orientation day in contract class. No, no, no. It starts right away. Get the syllabus and understand that you will have class participation the first day. And that involves the Socratic method. The Socratic method will be a series of questions that your professor will ask. Your professor will use the materials that are in the casebook and go through those materials by asking you a series of questions and elicit a series of responses and you will find there will be a progression. Sometimes there will be a progression from the, from the bare facts of this case into hypotheticals of other cases and he'll talk about or she will talk about what if this, what if that, what result of this situation, what if the result of that situation and we provide you with some method of, of, of practicing that in, in our materials here, but understand that the Socratic method is a, a very old and traditional method of, of studying the law, and you should expect to be able to participate in the Socratic method. Briefing and outlining, very fundamental. Each night you will be briefing your cases. It's very important that you do this. We've provided you with some basic information of how to brief cases and we stress that it's very important because you are responsible for knowing the, the, the salient facts of all of these cases. You're responsible for knowing the facts, for knowing the law, for knowing the course rationale, and you have a huge amount of material in each and every course. So what you must do is out brief these cases so that when you get to class the next day, you're fully prepared to participate. Now, outlining is closely related to briefing because what you're doing during the course of the year is you're creating a tool for your exams. You're creating a tool that will help you to do well and get high grades on your exam. That's your outline. Your outline is going to be a daily task. And if you, for whatever reason, are not able to do it on a particular night, you must make it up immediately. Do not fall behind in your briefing. Do not fall behind in your outline. Your outline is your tool that will, you will take into the exam and you will be uh, working on putting together an outline. We have some tips on that. But basically an outline is something that helps you to understand the, the, the law, the area of law, as you're going through the process. Now obviously, it's no secret, you can get an old outline, you can go on the, on the internet and you can purchase you know, commercial outlines, you can go to the bookstore and purchase different kinds of outlines. What's important to understand is that the effort, the participation, the task of actually creating your, out, your own outline helps you to learn the law as you're making the outline. That's the, the fundamental reason of doing it. Plus, you get to have an intimate knowledge of, of where things are in your own outline so that when you get to the exam room, you have everything prepared in front of you. Practice exams. It's very important that you practice exams before you get to the, to, to the exam room. Uh, very often it's difficult. Sometimes it's hard to find. Nowadays you can go on the internet. Uh, and, and, you know, previously that was not an option, but now it's an option. Uh, but more than that, if you are able to find old exams from your professor, because very often, surprise, the same professor will use variations of the same questions on an exam. So, it's very important that you understand that uh, you, you should practice as much as you can uh, practice exams. And um, the effort of learning how to take exams is, is, is critical. You, you must learn what they're looking for. You must understand the, the method by which you take an exam 
and by which you, you, you are grading yourself as you're taking the exam. You're looking for points. It's just like going through, through, a, through a basketball game. You're trying to score. And here, uh, like in any other uh, competitive uh, in, endeavor, you are trying to score as high as you can. So uh, go through the process. When you get to campus, talk to people who are in their second year of law school, third year of law school, who've had these professors before. Find out what they're looking for. Find out how to take an exam and you will do well.